Today, I'm going to discuss the results of a new automated insulin delivery system that I think can really help a lot of people with type 1 diabetes. The results were presented at the ATDD meeting by Dr. Stephen Russell. And the study was basically looking at the ILID system. And this is made by Beta Bionics and has been under development for a while. And this was the single hormone study. So it just looked at their algorithm using insulin alone. And eventually they're going to study this looking at the use of insulin plus glucagon together to see if that further improves outcomes. One of the main reasons I think this study was so cool is because it included over 25% minority individuals who aren't routinely studied in these insulin device trials. And it looked at people who had a wide range of A1C levels. There was no high cut point here. So over 30% of participants had an A1C of greater than 8%. They also studied both children and adults and combined the results together. But before I talk about the results, let me tell you about the pump. So this is a tubed pump and it has a sensor that it communicates with, it's the Dexcom sensor, and it's got an algorithm, so it does automated insulin delivery. But instead of having to enter all sorts of information into the system, this thing requires that you only put in the patient's weight, that's it. So from there, this system begins to figure out what the patient needs in terms of the automated insulin delivery. Now, there are several different target settings that can be entered and they can be different for different times of day. There's basically time of day that one is eating a meal, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And there's the size of meal, basically small, medium, and large. And the individual puts this in in real time so the system knows they're eating. But other than that, the system just works. And it does this in a way that doesn't allow for the individual using the pump to fidget with it. So they can't override the system, they can't put in other insulin doses. The system is just there to take care of their diabetes. So what they did was they compared this system to people on any other system, including other automated insulin delivery systems and put them into this trial. So people were randomized to this system versus whatever they'd been on. That was the control group and they followed them for 13 weeks. So that's not all that long. And there was a 0.5% reduction in A1C between the two groups. There was also an increase in the time and range. And this improvement in time and range happened almost immediately within the first day or two of people being on the system. In terms of actual numbers, the adult patients started out with a time and range of 56%, and this increased to 69% by the end of the study. The biggest improvement was time and range overnight, as is seen with other AIG systems. There was no reduction in time below a glucose level of 54, and there was an increase in the number of episodes of severe hypoglycemia in the group treated with the islet system, but this was not statistically significant between the two groups. I think these results are hard to compare it to other pivotal trials with automated insulin delivery systems. The tandem pivotal trial was a randomized controlled trial similar to this one, but the Medtronic and Omnipod studies were single arm trials where patients were compared before and after they use the device. But more than anything, I think what's important about this system is that it may allow for greater use of automated insulin delivery systems. It may allow primary care providers to use these systems without needing all sorts of support and that patients may be able to use these devices more simply than a device where they have to do carb counting and adjusting in ways that I think tend to be pretty complicated and require higher numeracy and literacy skills. So I couldn't be happier. I love what they're doing at Beta Bionics and I look forward to more results and in particular to see if these results improve further when they do a study of insulin and glucagon in their dual hormone pump system.
Thank you very much. This has been Dr. Ann Peters for Medscape. <laughs>